What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, Global got a new data download this morning, and it provided us with a decent amount of information about what's coming for part 2 of the current celebration. So, in today's video, as always, we're gonna check out exactly what's going on together. And uh, of course, a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. Make sure to hit him up with a follow if you haven't already done so. And with all that said, we're going to jump right in here. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom. And uh, we're going to go through all these assets. So first things first, we have a few new story assets for the Bobbity and Boo. There's Bobbity, there's uh, the Bobbity and Boo, and also the LR Bobbity and Boo. Of course, these are also the arts for the uh, three forms of the new Prime Battle LR, the SSR, the TUR, and also the LR. I'm assuming these are for the uh, Prime Battle event, which is dropping tomorrow. And uh, from there, we have the new Chain Battle boss, which is this Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta. And he's gonna be coming out, um, I don't think there's an exact date actually. I could check later, but I would assume within the next week or two, something like that. But uh, yeah, he's the next boss. The um, effective characters are gonna be Pycons, Angel Gokus, and Janembas. So if you guys need to prepare your supporter teams, then uh, now's the time to start. Okay, so from there, we have the Extreme Z Awakening assets for the Tech Kaoken Goku and the uh, Fizz Vegeta. So these are their sticker effects, and we have their Extreme Z Awakening medal. So these, of course, are for the Vegeta. These ones are for the Kaoken Goku, and we also have the uh, Extreme Z Battle Event assets for both characters as well. Now it is going to be an Extreme Z Battle, not an Extreme Z area, so we are going to be getting the you know, 30 plus stones, the orbs, all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, more Extreme Z Battle assets, that's the uh, event title right there. And uh, lastly, we have the Extreme Z, or sorry, not Extreme Z, the Prime Battle event assets. So this of course is a stage. This is the I think TUR medal or LR medal. No, this is the LR medal or the medal to awaken from TUR to LR. And then we have stage 2 and uh, the medal to awaken from SSR to TUR. And then we have the first stage and that of course is the SSR. Um, why am I blanking right now? Uh, Bobbity. I don't know, for a second I just forgot his name. Uh, the Bobbity right there, and then we have the actual card assets for the LR Bobbity and Boo as well, which uh, of course are the same as the story assets we saw uh, earlier. So there you go guys, that pretty much covers it for all the major things that were added to the global database through this data download. A quick uh, overview here, we have the Fizz, LR Bobbity, and Majin Boo. good. Uh, we have the Extreme Z Battle for Tech Kaoken Goku and Fizz Vegeta, and we also have the Explosive Chain Battle Boss Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta. Unfortunately, we didn't get any details about the next summonable unit coming to Global. I'm assuming that they're going to probably wait until they reveal it on Twitter or something like that before they you know, do a data download for it, but uh, it's coming guys. It's coming sooner than later, just be patient and uh, we'll get the details probably within the next couple of days, I would say. But uh, yeah, that was all we got for the data download. If you guys just came for that, then feel free to click off the video. But if you're curious about what the Kaoken Goku, the Fizz Vegeta do after their EZAs, or what the um, you know LR Bobbity and Boo do, then make sure to keep watching. We're gonna go through those details right now. So we're gonna pop over to the Dokkan Wiki, and uh, let's start with the Kaoken Goku. Of course, with these EZAs, we always start with the pre-EZA details and then talk about the Extreme Z Awaken details to uh, do a comparison. So, pre-Extreme Z Awakening, the Goku's leader skill was Goku's Family, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%, or Tech Types Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 90%, Super Attack raises Attack and Defense and causes Supreme Damage, and Passive Key plus 1 at the start of each turn, and Defense plus 60%, when there is- who's calling me right now? I don't know if you guys heard the message, but... Man, I gotta get rid of that phone. Like, that landline. Who has landlines anymore? Anyways, uh, he plus one at the start of each turn, and defense plus 60%. When there is a Vegeta's family category enemy, 
and then attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack, key plus 6, and attack plus 60% when HP is 60% or less. So that's pre-Extreme Z Awakening. Now after the EZA, his leader skill becomes Goku's Family, category key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 130%, or tech types key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack greatly raises attack, raises defense, and causes supreme damage, and passive is key plus 1 at the start of each turn, defense plus 70% when there is a Vegeta's family category enemy, attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, key plus 7, and attack plus 70% when HP is 70% or less, and then chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% per tech key sphere obtained. So essentially major changes are Leader scale goes up by 10% for both Goku's family and uh, tech types. And then for the super attack, you're greatly raising attack for every super as opposed to just raises and still raising defense. And then for the passive, we have a 10% increase here. We have a 10% increase here. We have, I believe, a uh, yeah, one extra key and also a 10% increase here. And the HP restriction gets a little bit better instead of 60% or less, it's now at 70% or less. And then of course we have this extra part here which is new, the uh, up to 30% extra chance to perform a critical hit. And you couple that with the increased stats, so once this guy's fully extremely awakened, his stats max out at 17,504 attack, 11,517 defense, and 13,556 HP. Obviously, this guy is definitely made for longer events, right? Because he's stacking attack and defense right now. You know, after the EZA, he's greatly stacking attack, so he can become very, very powerful long term. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just a really good EZA, man. Like, this guy was already really solid before the Extreme Z Awakening. Now he becomes even better. He's going to be even better, especially in events where you are going to be facing, you know, Vegeta's family enemies. Um, but yeah, there's the Goku Easy 8. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. I'm overall pretty happy. I mean, I've been pretty happy with, like, most Easy 8s these days because I feel like they've kind of found the right formula. Like, there was a period of time where some Easy 8s were hit or miss, right? It was, like, a little bit iffy, but these days, they're pretty much all hits, man. They're pretty much all good ECAs in my opinion. So we got the Kaken Goku. Now let's move on to the Vegeta who is very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, Pre-Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill was Vegeta's family category, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 120% or Fizz types, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage. And passive is key plus 1 at the start of each turn, attack plus 60% when there is a Goku's family category enemy. And then attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack, key plus 6, and defense plus 60% when HP is 60% or less. And then with the Extreme Z Awakening, we get essentially the same boosts that Goku got. So Vegeta's family category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or Fizz types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack greatly raises attack and raises defense and causes supreme damage, and passive is key plus 1 at the start of each turn and attack plus 70% when there is a Goku's family category enemy, and then attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, key plus 7 and defense plus 70% when HP is 70% or less, and then chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% per Fizz key sphere obtained up to 30%. So if you swap the uh, Fizz with Tech, and you swap the Vegeta's family with Goku's family, and uh, over, over here, of course, you know, Goku's family instead of Vegeta's family, then Goku and Vegeta are, as far as like passive super attack and leader skills go, very, very similar, right? So, uh, both good units. I think the Vegeta actually, I mean, I haven't like done the count or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure there are more Goku's family enemies than Vegeta's family enemies in the game, so. I guess you could argue that the Vegeta is going to be more useful for more events just because of the, you know, enemies you're facing. Like, this guy gets the boost from Goku's family, the Goku gets it from Vegeta's family, so I would say Vegeta definitely gets more use in my experience, but once again, they're both good. They're both good for sure. In terms of uh, stats, 
the Vegeta maxes out, maxes out at 16,598 attack, 16,628 HP, and 10,611 defense. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you gotta know about these two EZAs. I'm looking forward to them. They are gonna be dropping tomorrow with the uh, LR Bobbity and Boo Prime Battle event. I'm still debating whether or not I wanna do a, you know, eight hour stream and get everything done at once. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'll think about it. But uh, for this guy, going over his details, leader skill is Majin Buu Saga, category key plus four. HP attack and defense plus 130%, 12k super, colossal damage with a medium chance of sealing super attack and medium chance of stunning the enemy, and then 18k super, mega colossal damage with a medium chance of sealing super attack and medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then passive is key plus 3 attack and defense plus 40,000 plus an additional key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 30,000 when the target enemy is in attack down status and defense down status, stunned or the target enemy super attack is sealed. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and then recovers 5% HP at the end of turn in which an attack was received. Links are Master of Magic, Thirst for Conquest, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Majin Buu Saga, Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, and Inhuman Deeds. So that is the Bobbity and Boo. Uh, dropping April 15th, just like the EZAs, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to farm them. I might break it down to two streams, just because it's uh, pretty painful to do it all at once, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. So, there you go, guys. Those are the uh, upcoming Awakenings slash, you know, Fit to Play LR dropping on Global tomorrow. Um, no details, once again, about the next Summonable unit, but I'm assuming we'll you know, hear about that very, very soon. Um, oh, one last thing, the Angel Vegeta uh, event, or, uh, you know, Tame Battle Boss. Uh, like I said, the, the advantageous characters are Pycons, these Angel Gokus, Janembas, and that's it. So if you guys, you know, have the, the requisite units to build those supporter teams, you just gotta work on them, then make sure to uh, get to work. And uh, of course, the categories are Corroded, Body and Mind, Other World Warriors, and Worthy Rivals. So, uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's the data download. Big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting the assets. As always, we appreciate you. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.